Ally goal, don't click on it. Oh, let's go back real quick. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why do they do this? Welcome back to another episode. Afro Senpai here. Today we are getting into the beauty of Ally Bank. Let's go. All right. So in a previous episode, I was talking about how you should have multiple savings accounts slash I have multiple savings accounts. So we're going to get into the different savings accounts that I have and I'm going to create two new savings accounts because why not? So here we go, a quick walkthrough of all Ally savings accounts. So here we go, looking at Ally Me. So Haley and I have money pooled in for family expenses, and then we both have our own separate money <clears throat> for our own stuff. So like cosplay stuff that I wanna buy or video game stuff that I wanna buy, Haley might not give a green light on that. So I have my own account. Haley likes to buy yarn every five seconds, so I don't have a purpose for yarn. And so instead of like us talking about, hey, I want to make this purchase, is this okay? We just have our own separate accounts. And I know a lot of people or financial gurus might say once you get married, just have one basic account. But I disagree with that because for the reasons that I just mentioned, there are some things that you don't think is valuable as a person and that's okay she has her hobbies I have my hobbies and we have these separate accounts that fund them everything else the majority of our money goes into our mutual account and that funds our or excuse me that pays for all of our bills so ally me is just a separate savings account for me Ally Us is a savings account for us. This is another emergency fund. And I'm going to do a whole thing about emergency fund in a, super, in a future episode. So Ally AXD is for uh, Anthony's money. And so we have in the past been giving them uh, $25 each month. But I've uh, cut it down to 20 each month, and that extra $5 is going to their individual investment accounts through an app called Loved. And Loved is basically a custodial account that you can open for your kids or any, any minor that you happen to know their social security number for, and then have them start investing that way. Uh, Ally NALD is Nolly's account. Um, and also, the reason I like having this account is because if something crazy goes wrong and they need like an expense, we're not taking from our big budget or anything. I can just uh, take money out of their account. Uh, for their stuff. So like birthday parties, if it gets too crazy, we just take money out of their account and pay for it that way. Um, Ally Reno, renovations. So this is for the house. Anything that craps out at the house, we can pay for. Um, or anything we want to upgrade around the house, we have a little stash for that. Ally Travel, that's for traveling. <laughs> uh, but because again we love to travel we like to go to different places we like to eat while we are out at those places and so this um, fund is or excuse me this account is what funds those trips uh, ally life this is one of the most important uh, savings accounts that we have there are annual bills that we have to account for so like uh, life insurance, no, excuse me, uh, car insurance, buying car tabs. Uh, actually, I can look over here. So right here. 
So progressive is actually a, a semi-annual uh, account. And so let me just explain this. This is, this is exactly what I need. So anyway, progressive we pay twice a year in January and July. And that payment was 510. Uh, Capital One, uh, our annual fee is going to be $95 for that, um, for that credit card. Costco, we have to pay 120 for membership. Securicon Home Insurance comes to a thousand property taxes, Haley Pay Stub, um, or not Pay Stub, but Tabs. 1670 da, 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 da. you can see all these these are the stuff that we don't in Christmas we give 500 to Christmas uh, this is the stuff that's not a monthly thing so I have to keep track of it somehow so all I did was put the total down here at the bottom uh, ran a formula so I take the sum of all of these rows right here boom boom it gets me the total and then I divide this by 12 and so I should be sending 490 a month to the life savings account so this is the account where I pay for all that annual stuff that comes up once in a blue moon ally goal don't click on it oh let's go back real quick <laughs> oh my gosh why do they do this All right, Ally goal is the money, basically our liquid money for this for this goal right here. Ally liquid right here. This is the money that's not in any investment account that I could access uh, quickly if I needed it. And then Ally tax. So Ally tax is something that I created because there are things there are some times where we get extra money. So like Haley does babysitting and um, because the family is paying for child care, it's a tax deduction for that family. But then Haley then has to report that extra income. And so we are taxed more because of uh, Haley's babysitting. That Vanguard account that Haley has, that brokerage account, um, ha we have to pay tax on the dividends and the gains that we uh, get for that year and so what I do is I just take fifty dollars and feed this account this tax account every month and so what this do excuse me what this does is ensure that I have a little extra buffer for tax time when I'm doing my when we're doing our tax returns and if we don't have to pay anything in taxes we don't owe anything extra well then we also have a guaranteed uh, tax refund so I like it alright so let's get into the ease of how I can create another uh, ally account on the fly so what do we do here? Open an account. And so what do I want to create? We want to do uh, another banking account. Well, these online accounts, because they don't have any brick and mortar establishments, you can't ever go to an ally bank in real life it's always going to be a higher uh, rate a higher interest rate uh, than any other traditional commercial bank that you have around you so selecting an account we're gonna do another online savings account opening deposit we're gonna go $25 and then add this account now if you don't have an ally account it may take you a couple more steps because what you'll have to do is route your bank that you already have 
So like I have to route or I routed my BECU account and my Chase account to this account when I first started with Ally. But because I have so many accounts, I they know me already, so it's not a big deal and I can go a lot faster. Oh, look at this. Save some time. Yes. What? I can add another one? Yes. This is beautiful. All right. Let's do another 25. Nope. This is a new fe uh this is a new feature. No monthly fee, six transaction limit, competitive variable rates. Why only six? So if you're reading that, um, you can look at that. But I think they're just trying to make you not lose your money. Like, not panic. They don't want you to keep withdrawing and withdrawing and withdrawing. And then pretty soon you have nothing. So the government's trying to look out for you a little bit. Okay, open this account in the name of a trust. Oh, no, look at that. No. Um, next step. So anyway, what I was saying was, this is a new feature because usually I could only open one account at a time, but this is beautiful. So let's go. Next, our information, do, 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 still owner. By clicking, yes, yes. They're gonna review the just a couple clicks folks, and I already have two new accounts All right, and so we're at the last step depositing money and Do 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 Continue so this is that first account that I want to open and I guess I should blur that <laughs> I should blur this account number uh, so continue and then this is what I like. So I, I can just fund it from a different account. So I'm going to take a little piece of my goal money to feed this account. Continue. And this is the second account that I've created. And we'll go here. Continue. Uh, and then we'll take this from me. Continue. And I've got both accounts funded, and then the last step is just this click. Boom. Two new accounts ready to go. And then, <clears throat> now this should show up right here at the bottom. Funded accounts, took the money out of me, and took the money out of goal, and then the best part, I'm like, this is me being such a nerd. This is the most fun part of making new accounts is doing the nickname. So this one is going to be Ally. This is going to be my charity account. So Ally Give. Yes. So I'm going to be funding, I'm going to be putting money in this account in order to give back to other people. So Ally Give right here, boom. And then the last one, this one is gonna be for putting money away for precious metals because we're gonna be buying up more gold and silver. And I wanna have a dedicated account to that. So Ally Metals. Gold and silver, ally, ally drip. No, I'm gonna come back to that one. I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I'm, I'm not feeling that one. Ally metals in the comments, help me out with this one. What should it be? Ally, what this is pertaining to my precious metals account, and I like my nicknames to be short and sweet. Um. We'll get something. I don't think it's gonna be Ally Metals. Ally, eh, Ally Bars? Cause I'm buying bars, I don't know. Ally, no, we'll keep it at Metals for now. All right, 
boom, boom, boom. Everything looks good to go. And so you may be asking myself, uh, well, I've already explained why I have so many accounts, but you may be wondering, do you have to pay taxes on all these accounts because you have to uh, pay taxes on the interest that you accrue? So the answer is yes. Now, the reason I'm okay with having multiple accounts and paying taxes on all these accounts, it's the same thing as if somebody is taking 10% out of your $100 as it is of them taking 10% out of 10 accounts that each have $10 in them. Do the math and you'll realize it's the same exact thing. Um, I'm not being sponsored by Ally in any way, shape, or form. I just love the ease at which I can create multiple accounts for myself and um, transfer between different accounts and all that fun stuff. Like a little more just kind of tooting up their horn. Uh, if I called at this time, they tell me they're open 24-7, and they also tell me the wait time. So if I'm not feeling that right now, I'm going to check back in maybe two hours, and maybe the wait time is zero or one minute. It's just the more things are laid out and beautiful, the more things I tend to go with. Very user-friendly, uh, very intuitive stuff, and I might even be going to them for this home loan stuff when I get into... Uh, buying up uh, some rental properties. We don't know, but I will be sure to document uh, that journey if I do for you. for Legos. My family and I enjoy playing Legos. We build lots of crazy things. Each of our different family members likes to build specific things. I like to build spacecrafts. Nerd alert! <laughs> I like to build uh, vehicles. Anything that involves like moving parts. Anthony likes to build scenery type places. Haley likes to build shops, like office spaces, and then Nolly's kind of still finding what she likes. She just kind of puts Legos together at this point. But in general, Legos, we love them because it's an endless supply of replay value. And that's going to do it for this episode, folks. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. And remember to smile because you are beautiful.